Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Catamol Diaries. I'm your host, Captain Betty Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager Long Term Save where we're taking the minnows of Dutch football, VVV Venlo, all the way to the very, very top. And we started off with Lee Catamol. He doesn't feature much these days, but he plays a pivotal part in our youth development. He's the head of youth development at VVV Venlo, and I bloody love it. I will, I will tell you that every time we start a video because I love saying it. Anyway, we haven't been away too long since the last time we were together and today's episode is an absolute humongous one. This series gets better and better and better. <sighs> it's Roma at home in the second round of the Europa League. Will we create magic once again and beat the Italian giants? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? But before we do that, let's just check out the couple of games that we have played since we last together and then check the league and then we'll get straight on with the action. So in the last episode, we beat Ajax and we beat Braga by six goals to nil. We followed that up with a 4-0 thrashing of FC Groningen. It was a Xerxes penalty, two goals from Dian Gara and Angel Gomez again. Those three are flying. And then we've just topped it off with an absolutely humongous performance against AZ Almar. AZ Almar are on the cusp of getting into fourth place and a win for them in this game would have actually taken them above us. But no, two goals from us in one in the first half, one in the second half, shall I say. They slotted one in between with an equaliser, but through Dian Gana and Xerxes and we got the three points and a W in the bag. But that's it. They're the only two games and today it just brings us to this humongous one. AS Roma at home. Let's just see how we've been getting on the league. There we are. We are now currently sitting in third position. A good seven points from AZ out there. Like I said, that last game was absolutely humongous. Anyway, we now see ourselves ten points away from the top of the table. PSV has still got that game in now, which is just an absolute nightmare, really. But I'm looking at Ajax. 56 points. We can catch them. Eight points in it. We can still catch them. We've just beaten Ajax. We can do it. I'm just saying. We can do it. And then we'll get into the qualifying rounds for the Champions League. If not, if we get third, we go straight into the Europa League again next season. But here we go. The only game of the episode. And they are favourites. But we are in good form. And they're actually in poor form as well. I've not had a look where they're, how they're getting on in their domestic terms. But, and I don't want to as well. I want to just go for it. Let's just go for it. This is what our team is, but however, it's out suspended, so we're going to make one change. And the only change that comes is that Kasper Kastrovic will come in at right back. We've also brought Farai back in because he's now fit again. And we've dropped Amra back to the bench. Linters comes back over to the Mazala. So it's Del Ferraro, Kastovic with Leroy, Panzo and DiMarco. Linters, Agumi and Farai in the middle. Then we've got Dian Gana, Gomez and Xerxes up top. Lopez is still out injured, but Xerxes has been playing very, very well. Ooh, that's not a bad team, is it? <laughs> Bellotti, obviously signed from Torino, plays up front for them. Uh, Zanolo is sitting behind the strikers. I know he's our fit, though, is Zanolo. They've got Patrick Sheik on the right-hand side. Uh, left hand side, sorry, Pellegrini down the middle. Yeah, that's a. It's, it, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. But we've defined the odds on this save, and I've got a feeling, because we're at home, we've got to give them a game, and we could take them. Come on, onto the team talks. As always, come in there, passionately say to the boys, we're the underdogs here, go out there and show the fans what we're made of, and then come in there nice and calmly. I've got faith in you lads, go and make the difference. Good luck. Ah. And we get the game right underway, and there's a highlight straight away, giving away about Ponzo though, and it's Patrick Sheik now on the ball, looking for Bellotti, and he finds Bellotti, puts the ball in there. That is possibly the worst start that we could have hoped for. But, ugh, long way to go. Long way to go. Given away by Panzo. And then, yeah. <laughs> what I would say to that. Right, the right way it comes in. Is it Under? 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 I, I'm not actually quite sure how you pronounce his name. But I know he's a pretty good player. 1-0 Roma. Um, let's just start again, lads, eh? Del Ferraro. Leroy. Out to Kastovic. And then Kasovic now, giving away again. Now, please do not. Oh, and giving away again. We're panicking out there, aren't we? Big tackle from Leroy, though. Oh, I'm just thinking that I'd love to somehow get him into my team for next season. They want 39 million at standard Liège. 
But uh, he doesn't pull out the best pass there. We just need to get the ball down here. We just need to calm down a bit. DiMarco over the top. Here comes Diego Gomez. So Kenny gets back into the game. It's a big save and they've hooped it away. And that's our first real big chance. A clear cut opportunity for us. Dane Gana back to Kastorovic. And it comes to Agum. He puts it in there. Gomez is very small. He's not going to win that. And then Farai tries to do something. And Chris Turney is coming away with it. Now he's going to go for a strike. But he's going to go ever so wide. Right. Come on. Oh, we've given the ball away so much today. Panicking on the ball. Very, very much so. And I feel like some of the lads are crumbling under the pressure here. Balotti's made the run here. This could be 2 0. Big, big save from Del Ferraro. Bad, bad finish from Balotti. We're not doing bad though. 6.7s, most of the lads. 6.8s, a couple of 6.9s in there. We're matching them. They've just got that goal in front though. Things could be worse, things could also get better. And there they go. Ooh, it is headed over. And they've started to take control of this game, though, now. Ten shots to our four. And I've just got to remember, this is Roma. This is Roma. Just start to get back into this, though. Seven shots now, but only two on target. We need to do something up top. Dean Ganner going into his shell once again against one of the big boys. Does that quite a lot against the big lads. A little bit by uh, Farai. Just doesn't like those big games. And that's a killer. And... Their superiority is showing in abundance. And this could be the end of our European tournament. And this could be the end of our season, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because there's not much else to play for. Our average ratings have gone <laughs> through the basement. And we're not playing very well out there now. Disappointing. Absolutely. The lads are just not really turned up today, have they? We will be looking at a couple of lads off the bench. Obviously, De, uh, De Maria might be on the bench. I'm sure he is. Willian's on the bench as well. Amrabat is there as well. Can we just get a goal back, though? Get a goal back, and we will... Oh, just, um, obviously, we'll be back in the game, but, uh, yeah, we're not going to get a goal back with passing like that, are we? Ball does come all the way back to Del Ferraro. It's Leroy now. Looking for Xerxes, and he finds Josh Xerxes. He beats his first man. It's Xerxes now coming all the way through. Can he get a shot away? He can. And... Oh, he's... he's... He's missed it. He's bloody missed it. Did all the hard work. And then put it at the wrong side of the post. And these could strike straight from that miss. And they don't. They hit the side netting as well. I think we're going to have to make some changes here. Because, uh, yeah, we need to, we need some goals. I'm not quite sure why some of the lads are really struggling out there. 6.2. That's really bad, isn't it? No Di Maria on the bench, obviously. He's either cup-tied or he is... Feeling it about there. I think what we'll do is we'll get Willian on, move Dean Ganner over to the left hand side, and we'll have Willian as a advanced playmaker. And then what we're going to do is bring Baltazar Lopez on, who's obviously just coming back from injury, but I mean, Xerxes has been absolutely terrible, hasn't he? And then Agumi down the middle is on a 6.3, and we're going for a triple substitution, and we're going to put Amrabat, we're actually going to change Amrabat, put him there, and then our Farai down the middle in fact no we're not we're going to stay with that and Amrabat can stay there and that's just how it's going to have to be not great from the lads out there so far today and they need to sort it out might just chuck a, a bit of an encouragement on there as well from the sideline got to try and get something from this game we always score at home big chance here real big chance it's William can he kill it in ah oh. and the veteran had the opportunity. If anybody on the pitch was going to take that, I would have given it to Willian. So, nothing to be too shunned about. 15 minutes to go. I don't think we're going to be able to pull something out of the bag here. And I think this could be it. It was always going to be a tall ask against Roma. But it looks like our Europa League adventure is coming to an end very, very soon. Ugh. We'll always have the Braga game. Nothing's happened since that free kick. Time is just completely ticking away. And we lose by two goals to nil, and superiority of Roma as Danas. Can't be disappointed with them, to be fair, or mucky. It just wasn't our day, lads. There's your confirmation. I'm not bothered about anyone else. I don't really care. If I'm going to be honest about the other results, we're out. What did my board want from this competition, eh? What did they want? They wanted us to just be competitive. So we've 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 done well, and we did well in the Champions League as well. We've just got to try and get third now. And meet all the minimum expectations of the board this season. What a very underwhelming season it's been so far. But we've had some adventures. Obviously the wins in the Champions League. And then that win against Braga as well was an absolute cracker. But yeah, we couldn't 
create any magic against Roma, unfortunately. Right, there's not actually long to go now for the rest of the season. So I think if we come back, I think if we play a couple of games, I think I actually think we might even just play on now and just come back for the final game of the season. And then we can do the end of season awards and see where we are for the rest of the season and do all that kind of stuff. So I think if I just play on and do the rest of this and do the rest of that, by the time we get to the final games of the season, we'll either be battling for the third or fourth place or even we might have pulled it out of the bag and got to second, but I just doubt it. I'm not going to bring you a third place finish, so I'm not going to come to loads games. So I will be back for the final game of the season. And then we're into season number five, where we have a summer and we'll be able to invest in more players. Probably lots of free transfers again because, yeah, our board doesn't like to give me a lot of money, even though they've got 18 million in the bank. We're spending it on a new stadium. Well, expanding the stadium, not a new one, but yeah. Ah, oh, I'm now gibbering on. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up at the bottom of the page. If you're a new viewer to my channel and you've stumbled across these videos, then go to my page and subscribe to my channel, Captain Bedman FM. Just no, turn on your notifications and you will never miss an episode. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm up to, then go and follow me at Captain Bedman FM on Twitter. Big shout out to the lads over at Passion for FM. If you want to be part of our football manager community and play with passion, then go and check out the links in the description below the video and click away as much as you like. I'll be back in a couple of days for another episode of the Catamol Diaries. Bye-bye.